I was one of the creators of Pixagon 3D and said at the very origins. Now that almost 10 years have passed, I'm ready to reveal this amazing secret to you. In this video, you will learn under what circumstances Pixagon 3D was created, why I decided to go do game development, and what new updates go through before they end up in the App Store and the Play Market. This video is fully voiced by Hermes on behalf of Rezu. So when Pixagun 3D was just released in 2013, we sold it for $1 just as a prototype FPS shooter. We made only one map, one weapon, and two types of zombies. After all, as you remember, initially, Pixagun had only one mode. This is an arena where you ha all have to do is kill zombies. No clans, no duels, and team fight. Let the content in Pixagun 3D was scarce, but as soon as we posted it on the App Store, it took the top one spot in the App Store among paid games. We were not all ready for such a large flow of players who often shared feedback and advice with us, and also tried in every possible way to get in touch with us. We had absolutely no experience working with a large audience, which we acquired so quickly. So we immediately decided to form a large community. We undertook to create multiplayer in Pixagun 3D as well as various social functions, such as social networks and other things that will help us unite our players. First of all, we implemented a system of friends and chats, but our players began to use it too actively. In chats, they not only talked, but also trying to find relationships and friends. And as soon as we added the friends button and did not make a limit on the number, you will not believe it. The system was killed for us since the player sent over 800 to 900 requests. When Pixagun became popular, we faced another problem. There came some bad guys called hackers who hacked the currency and wanted to get all the content in dishonest ways. Accordingly, the nature of their views has changed. Complaints have appeared and we have introduced a system of player reports. You won't believe it, we, but we even received letters from you, our players. The guys found the company name, mailing address, and all contact details. The senders were all from over the world. England, America, Europe, and Asia. Inside there were some wishes and some sometimes requirements, but always thoughtful, detailed, and reasoned. For example, once in 2016, a boy from Arizona wrote to us with, with a request to increase the number of currency and purchases. There's also this, a school teacher in Honolulu who wrote when he was teaching students the rules of business correspondence. There's also a lot of fan art in such letters, which we undertook to embody in the game and are still doing it, including holding contests among the community with in-game rewards. Well, you know that perfectly well. The next thing I want to tell you is how we create new updates. That is what the weapon goes through to finally be in the new update. So the content development plan is divided into nine stages. The first is development of an idea. We are looking for and collecting the best content ideas. Second, creating a 2D concept. We draw sketches and concepts. Third, creating a 3D concept. We turn concepts into 3D models. Fourth is optimization of the 3D model. We optimize and prepare for animation. Fifth, animation itself. We do rigging and animate the content. Sixth, connecting to the project. We adjust the mechanics, add effects, and sounds. Seventh, the testing. We conduct play tests, give feedback, and eliminate bugs. Eighth, release and collection of statistics. We release it to stores, work with the audience, metrics, and if there are any left, catch bugs. Ninth, content review. We monitor the game balance and check the parameters. Seasons in Pixel and 3D are thought out from two to three ahead. A fixed grid is drawn up where it is written from which topic follows which and what will be inside. 
mechanics, new modes, maps, and so on. The content should be as different as possible from the one presented in the previous season, so it's much more attractive to players. Therefore, you need to constantly find and generate catchy ideas. Inspiration can also be found in real life. The more difficult way is to come up with a unique theme for an internal holiday or a fictional event. If there are assumptions that players will like it, for example, in 2020, we released a developer season in which we made an office map. We added a bunch of references to our real life Rostov on Dawn, partially recreated the interiors and let the you, our players, run around in them. We even have some strange inscriptions on the pillar. Do you happen to know what that can mean? The selected ideas are discussed by the leading game designer and product owner. The best ideas get into the concept doc with the general outline of the update. The plot is written, the details of the lore are revealed, and references are attached. Sketches by hand are partially not drowned, but usually only when you need to come up with something completely non-standard. Due to the peculiarities of pixel stylistics, it is more convenient for artists to work directly in Photoshop. Just open a 100 by 100 picture and draw it in pixels. Approved 2D concepts fall into the hands of the 3D department, where 3D models are created from drawings. It happens that the concept is completely changed. For example, no matter how many times we tested guns, firing a shield with axes, like a boomerang, it was boring to play with. As a result, we made a hammer with completely different mechanics instead of it and got completely different motions from the gameplay. It is extremely important to optimize the model correctly. We have 10 players in almost any multiplayer mode. Everyone has pets, hats, armor, guns, gadgets. They shoot, particles fly around, effects explode, and so on. In this photo, you can see a table where it is written which of the developers is responsible for what at what stage, for which content is ready, and which is not. After all, the animator gets the task to make a weapon, opens the table, looks through each column, sees descriptions, properties, and timings. The content must look attractive not only in the lobby, but also in the gameplay. Everything affects it at once. Art, animations, effects, and sounds. By the end of the stage, a ready-made unit of content is obtained. It is modeled, animated, and configured, has sounds, and ready for playtests. Okay guys, now let's lower the curtain. In fact, I was not the creator of Pixagon 3D, and still am not its developer. It was my April Fool's joke. But what about my story about game development? All of this was true, as were the letters from the players. I want to thank Desperate Rush and Paraffin for providing me with the information to create this video. And, you know, I really want to thank Rezu for uh, giving me this opportunity to voice this video as well. I, Hermes, myself. See you all later, and may your dreams come true.